Hello everybody and welcome back. It's Michael from EmbodiedTheState.com as you already know. And for those of you that are new and tuning in, I hope you guys enjoy my channel and you guys find something of value that can benefit your life. And that being said, you know, this video is gonna be something that's that's spontaneous. It's not something I planned, but we're gonna be debunking something. And it's something that a lot of people make a mistake on, and that's regarding how to view your 3D, how to view, you know, your 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 circumstances and, and how to move on in your life when you're currently changing things, right? When you're currently doing the inner work to change the reflection that you guys are seeing outside of you, right? Remember, all of this out here, it's a reflection. It's your mirror. It's showing you who you are, who you believe you are, most importantly, right? And so many times, and, and this is something I see over and over in the last few days, which inspired me to do this, but we believe that we can't even under, like, we can't even acknowledge that the 3D is going to change. We have this fear of like, oh no, I have to believe I have it now. I have to be delusional and have to believe my 3D has changed already and blah, blah, blah. And then it leads to, you know, weeks and months and even years for some people of like no results or, or hot and cold or, or pretty much not getting the result. And I know every single one of you watching this wants your results, right? So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple things. First things first is we are going to share a Neville Goddard quote and then I'm gonna give you some real life personal experience which kind of proves as to what I'm talking about. And most importantly, we're gonna have, we're gonna wrap it up with a complete understanding. So all I ask from you guys before I begin is if you guys find any value from this video, you guys learn anything, hit that thumbs up, that like button, therefore it can reach a greater audience and just like it helped you, then it can help other people, okay guys? That's all I ask from you guys. Let's dive into it. So the quote in front of me here, and this is from Neville himself, it says, imagine whatever you desire, believe you will receive it and go about your business in the world with patience and confidence, knowing your desire will erupt and become a reality, right? Let me reread that last part. It says, <clears throat> he pretty much says to go about your business uh, in the world with patience and confidence, knowing your desire will erupt, keyword will erupt and become a reality. And that was the quote that I wanted to share you from Neville Goddard himself, right? And that's something that so many people, even though they, they study Neville or claim to, they seem to miss that one part, right? And you know, of course, yes, in the present moment when you think of your desires, you're supposed to go from here to there. In other words, lack or recognizing you're not the one that has it to then it, you know, accepting that you have it. So you go from point A to point B, right? But the mistake that people make is they think that they have to kind of, you know, only live in the B and that they can't even walk in their 3D understanding that the 3D is about to conform, the mirror is going to change or the reflection, whatever you want to call it, right? And that's something that luckily for me, I learned that before I even knew of this quote, right? Before I even knew that Neville said this, because when I started discovering, uh, you know, and diving deep into the law and, and applying it, I, I only got maybe, um, what was it? One book in and, and just a certain amount of lectures that I read right before I got all my biggest results, right? And all my results came within the first week of me even discovering the law. And that's why I, I, I wanted to make this video too, because this quote goes hand in hand with what I experienced. And it's also going to show you guys that you don't have to be afraid of acknowledging that your 3D hasn't changed yet. You don't have to worry that, oh my God, I'm not in the end, therefore I'm not going to get it. It's, it doesn't work like that, guys. And this is something I share with my clients, which I'll share with you guys, right? When you know that you are doing the mental diet or what I call the inner work, right? You're doing, you're doing the inner work to change yourself, to change your beliefs, right? In other words, you are identifying with what already exists because remember, if you watch my content and you study my content, you realize creation is finished. And if you watch my content, you know what I mean when I say creation is finished. And to summarize it, for those that are new or for anyone that needs a refresher, when I say creation is finished, I'm referring to the fact that there are infinite parallel realities or probable realities, if you want to call it that. And in those unlimited probable realities, there are versions of yourself that have your desire. There are versions of you with your SP. There are versions of you with your business. There are versions of you with the bank account you would prefer. There are versions of you with whatever it is that you desire. Because remember, the fact that you desire something is pretty much it's it's your proof that God has given you this or source has given you this desire. In other words, you're, you're meant to have it. You cannot want something that isn't already promised to you by, you know, the, uh, whatever you want to call it, God, source, infinite energy, doesn't matter what you call it, but that has given it to you. It says this is supposed to be yours and there this is why you have that desire, right? It's why I like specific cars, but certain people I, I talk to and that I'm friends with hate the cars that I like, right? Some people prefer sports car. I'm more of a luxury car kind of guy, right? And there's versions of me that prefer sports cars over luxury cars, right? 
So, for example, if I wanted for, uh, you know, uh, and name any car, let's say there's a car for t a quarter million dollars, right? If I wanted to manifest that car and that was like my, my true desire, it's something I genuinely wanted. I have this actual strong urge and desire to experience it in real life and I want it. My job is to remember, okay, the fact that I even want this car means it's already existing with me having it in one and in, in many of those probable realities, right? And of course, then I understand knowing what I know that all I have to do is start identifying with those other realities, right? And remember, creation is finished, which means those other probable realities exist. It's not just one, it's not two, it could be a thousand, it could be a million realities where I have my desires. I don't know the number, but I don't care. I just know that it exists. And I know that all those realities exist within me, inside of me. And that's why I can identify with them. And that's why I can peek into them with my imagination, right? So for example, uh, as I was telling a client yesterday, right? If I wanted, you know, I was looking at certain cars, right? Um, and something that I can have for a little while. And I told um, my girlfriend, who I manifested, by the way, back in May, you know, and her and I, we know the law. We talk the law, like, all the time. And I was telling my client that, you know, my girlfriend likes bigger, safer cars. And for me, a, a fair compromise is a G-Wagon, right? A new G-Wagon. So I've been looking at new cars and stuff like that. And I've been, you know, kind of looking at what I can get and what's available that I don't have to wait, you know, months and months or like a year for. And, you know, G-Wagons keep popping up. And it's something that I, I don't really mind. Sorry about that. I just got a phone call. And it's something I don't really mind. And, you know, it's, 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 be it's built well. It's strong. I know it's going to keep her safe. And I know that if, you know, down the road, if we have kids and stuff like that, it's going to keep the kids safe too, right? And it's a, it's a pretty cool car. It's spacious. It's luxury as well. But it can perform. So it's a healthy compromise, right? So just as I'm taking a look at G-Wagons and stuff like that, you know, they're not very cheap cars for those of you that know cars. Um... You know, even if I was broke, I don't have to sit there and be like, oh no, how am I gonna afford a quarter million dollar car, right? My job is to not worry about that money. My job is to understand I want this car and therefore it exists with me having it in multiple realities. So I now have to identify with those realities whenever I think about that car, whenever I'm in the desire, I'm in the state of I want, I want, I want, right? So when I'm in the state of, you know, I want that car and I'm kind of thinking about it and I recognize that I'm thinking about it from lack, in other words, from desire, right then and there, my cue is to go straight to fulfillment because I know creation is finished. I know that I already have it in multiple realities and those realities exist within me and therefore it's already done, I already have it. I just don't have it in this physical reality. I'm not experiencing it in my 3D yet, but I know I will. So I fulfill myself doing whatever I prefer, right? And the reason I don't teach you guys, you know, do this technique or do that technique or say this affirmation, it's all BS, guys. There's no such thing as, you know, you know this magical, you know, technique that's going to give you everything, which, which I'll make a video on probably in the, in the near future. But instead, I just do what's easier for me. And I tell you guys as well, do whatever, whatever's easier for you. If you want to affirm like, hey, I have a G-Wagon, right? And it makes you feel what you think it would feel like if you actually had one, good. That's the perfect technique for you. But if for you, just saying thank you, like I used to at the beginning of my journey, and saying thank you made me focus on the end result, which then made me feel grateful, then great, that works for you. If inner conversations is your thing, go for it, do inner conversations. It doesn't matter what you guys do. Me personally, I'm just aware of the thing in my head. I'm aware of this thought. Hey, the G-Wagon's on my brain. I don't see pictures, I don't see visuals, right? Unless I want to. But I'm just aware of the thought. I capture that thought, right? And then I go straight to fulfillment. I, I just understand it. In less than one second, all the information I know about the law just runs right through me. Creation is finished. It's already mine. I just got to, you know, believe it in that moment, like playfully pretend. In other words, enter the state where I accept that I have the thing. And after that, my job is done and I walk away. So that's what I do. I'm aware of the thought, accept fulfillment, and I just move on with my life, right? And then the next time I think of that G-Wagon, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, right? And as long as I don't focus on lack, I'm good. But here's the part where a lot of people, you know, kind of mess up, and here's where the whole point of the video, you know, kind of is. It's, they think that, you know, just like in my situation, if I'm looking at the G-Wagons, that I can't look at that G-Wagon as if it's on the way that I have to be like, oh no, it's mine now and uh, it's already mine and, and no, I'm not even gonna get it because it's mine already. Nothing to do with that, guys. It, it, yes, 
you're supposed to feel what you think it would feel like to actually be the one that has it now. So for example, I have to, if, if I'm to manifest that car, and let's say I had only a dollar in my bank account, my only job is to be grateful that it's in my parking spot, feel proud that, hey, I have a quarter million dollar car, that must mean I'm doing pretty damn good in life, right? And, and, and whatever else comes with that, I know for a fact if I go grocery shopping, I'm probably gonna get a couple stairs, right? Because it's a status symbol to an extent, right? Of course, not everyone, you know, if if it was as affordable as, as let's say, like a $20,000 car, then, you know, no one would, would bat an eye at those type of cars or even a Rolls Royce as an example. But because these cars are, are so up there, you know, as people look at you and they're like, wow, like, I wonder what this guy does. And I know that comes with the territory. So I imagine what would it be like going at the grocery store, you know, getting out of the car and people, you know, like knowing that someone's looking at me and being like, wow, like that guy, that guy must have made it. He's doing good in life. So I, I become the person who, who parks at the grocery store. I become the person who drives up somewhere uh, proud that, I, that I, uh, I'm taking care of myself well, proud that I'm thriving in life, right? You know, uh, kind of content and I feel grateful that I have that car and I just become that person. But as I said, the part where people make a mistake is they, they, they fail to understand that you can be aware that your 3D is gonna change. So just like me, if I'm manifesting that car, I understand I don't have it physically. Yes, I can feel like I have it internally, but I know logically it's not here yet. But as Neville says, walk in the patience and the knowing that the 3D will erupt and change pretty much, right? So let's break down the logic of it. I've pictured the car in my head. And by the way, for those of you manifesting SP or whatever, just switch car with the SP. It's literally the same process, nothing changes. So I'm thinking of the car. I understand in order to manifest it, I have to then accept that I already have it. In other words, I fulfill myself through whatever technique I prefer for myself, right? Because it's, it's, it's a personal journey. What works for me is not gonna 100% work for every single one of you. So that's why I tell you guys, find what works best for you, but just follow the principles of the law, which is what I teach you guys, right? The technique, that's like 1% of it. That's why I don't care to bother too much with the techniques. But I fulfill myself, and then I become the one that has it. I feel that, that you know, proud, I feel secure, I feel what it would feel like. Uh, and this is coming from the perspective as if I was broke, right? Because if you're broke, of course, you'd be like, I can't even afford gas, I can't afford insurance, and blah, blah, blah. But of course, if you had the money to afford that type of car, then that means you can afford insurance, you can afford gas, and, and whatever. So how would it feel to be able to swipe the card and, and fill up the gas tank, you know, if it's 150 minimum, right? How would it feel to, to you know, pull up in that car and, and not even tell your friends you got it and then see their reactions at, at, at a restaurant that you guys all are, all are meeting up at, right? Things like that, I, I identify with those moments, with, with those experiences that already exist within me, right? Because remember, creation is finished and I've already had those experience in other realities. So therefore, you know, I'm just experiencing what already happened. And now that I do that, logically, I know that in the back of my head, I don't have the G-Wagon, but it's okay because I felt like I did. And because I felt like I did, and I know that I'm mental dieting throughout my day, and I know that I am not going to pretty much commit to lack. I'm not gonna identify with lack. I'm gonna instead, every time I think of that car, I'm going straight to fulfillment. I don't give a crap what my bank account tells me. I don't give a crap what my job is. I don't give a crap my education, my status any of that, I don't give a crap because God doesn't care because that is nothing for God. If I tell myself that I have something and I believe it with conviction, I am then praying properly. I'm experiencing what I want in, in, in reality, in my true reality, which is my inner world, right? And that's the thing, that's all I have to do. And then when I walk away from that, I understand logically, and this is the part that people mess up, I know that my 3D is going to change. And I actually relish in that, right? Like I enjoy it, I cherish that, right? Because think about it like this, if you won the lottery, right? And the government tells you, you know, hey, you've won $50 million, but we're not gonna be able to give it to you today. Give us like, you know, let's say 40 days. Give us 40 days to get the money together and to transfer it to your bank account, right? When you leave the government, like the lotto office, right? And they tell you within 45, 40 to 45 days, you're gonna get your money guaranteed. Are you then going to be like afraid of, oh no, I have to believe I have the money now or else I'm not gonna get the money from the government. No, it makes no sense, right? Instead, you start spending the money in your head. You start looking at real estate. Hey, where can I live? Oh, do I wanna have people over? Maybe I want a pool. Okay, let's look for houses with a pool in the area. Maybe I wanna move elsewhere to a different country, right? What car would I drive if I had 50 million? Oh man, I'd probably get a Rolls Royce Wraith and blah, 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 right? Or whatever your favorite cars are. 
and you start daydreaming. You start kind of enjoying these things in your imagination. You start kind of being the one that has them, right? You start seeing yourself in Hawaii. You start seeing yourself getting married in a, in a you know, a, a, an expensive destination. You, you know, you see yourself going to get the nicest clothes, going to the nicest restaurants, not having to worry about, you know, oh no, I'm not going to get an appetizer because it, it's almost as much as the meal and, and I don't want to spend money because I have to save money different mentality, right? You start thinking about what you'll be doing with the abundance, right? And when you start doing that, you're going to notice you feel abundant, you feel wealthy, you feel, you know, happy and taken care of. That is the state of having that money. And so, and the reason I bring this up is because it's the same thing applies to me, right? If I'm manifesting that car, it's the same thing. The difference is I didn't physically have the person tell me, hey, you're going to have this car in 40 days, like the lotto office would tell you, right? Instead, through my understanding of the law of assumption, I know that my desire is going to be flipped, right? My, my 3D is gonna flip the switch and my desire will show up. I know that it's going to happen, right? And therefore, I'm focusing just like the lottery winner on the end result, right? I'm focusing on pulling up with my friends and driving around the car, holding hands with my girlfriend, maybe having my hand on her leg while I'm driving, right? And her just looking out the window and me just being so happy that like, wow, like we're in a nice safe car, she's happy with it. She can drive it wherever she wants, and if I need to go somewhere, I'll just take it or whatever. I'll use my other car. It doesn't matter. And, you know, I'm just happy. You know, I'm enjoying those moments. And, and every time I fulfill myself, I know that I'm getting one step closer to the 3D changing. I walk in that confidence, as Neville says, that knowing that the 3D will erupt and change, right? And, be, and the reason I know that it's going to change is because I am entering the wish fulfilled again and again and again and again. And I am not entering the state of not having again and again and again and again. In other words, I am not looking at that parking spot and being like, oh no, I wonder if it will come. Or, you know, I am not thinking of the car being like, I hope I get it. I hope I'm doing it right. I hope I'm doing all the techniques needed of me. No, every time I think of the car, I know creation is finished. I know I already have it in multiple realities. So I, I experience those realities in that moment, just like that, boom, right in one second. I, I accept that I fully have it and I feel proud and happy and whatever else fulfilled feels like for me, right? And then I walk away knowing that my end result is going to be me having it. The only difference is I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know if it'll be today, tomorrow, next week or whatever, but I just know it will as long as I continue to identify with having the car when I think about it, right? And the rest of the times that I'm not thinking about it and that I'm not craving it, I understand logically that my 3D is going to change because I am spending more time or I should say dominantly spending more time in having it than I spend in not having it, right? And as long as I'm spending more time returning to fulfillment than I am returning to lack, then I know for a fact my 3D has no world, sorry, has no, has no, um, in other, in other words, has no choice to pretty much change, right? There's no way that the 3D is going to stay the same if I'm dominantly returning to the wish fulfilled of having my car, right? And everything will get sorted out for me by source, by God, right? And so I fully walk, as Neville says, in that knowing, right? Just like when I started manifesting, I only read one book and like a couple lectures, but I got the gist of what Neville was teaching. And he was pretty much saying, when, as the Bible would say, when you pray, believe that you have received it and it will be so. And to me, I took that as when I think of my SP, I have to believe that we got back together and then it will reflect. And I did that wholeheartedly. And when I thought of business and money and financial success, the same thing. And in the first six days, I got both those things. All I did was fulfilled myself when I thought of my desire and I craved it or wanted it. And then moving forward, I just made sure I did not identify with lack. If it was anything negative, anything lack wise, I didn't identify with it. I didn't feel anything for it. I was just indifferent to it. I practiced my reactions to my 3D and it was always smiling. I smiled at the negative. I smiled at the lack because I knew this dirty little secret. And that dirty little secret was that my 3D is just a reflection of what I believe in here. Right. And therefore, because I am consistently returning to feeling like I got my SP back. Right. Which is my first ever uh, SP manifestation success for me back then years ago, you know, because I kept returning to feeling like we got back together and that everything was good again and that we were happy again. And I felt like the boyfriend every time I thought about her, I knew that it was only a matter of time that my 3D would change. I knew it was inevitable, but I didn't know the quote that I just shared with you back then. Right. But I, I just knew that based off what Neville said, you know, it was just as simple as 
keep doing this and spend more time identifying with having it than, than you do not having it, right? So I knew for a fact I was returning to, to fulfillment more than I was returning to lack and therefore I was doing what this crazy guy Neville was saying when, you know, when I first discovered him. But I trusted it because my life was so bad at the time that I had no choice. I was like, okay, if this stuff works, then I unlock the keys to the universe. But if it doesn't, then I lost nothing, right? So. I literally lived by that quote and that's why I made this video. That's why I'm sharing all my experiences with you guys. It's the same thing. Fulfill yourself and then understand that your 3D is going to change because you are spending your time properly. You are returning to the wish fulfilled as opposed to returning to lack more than not, right? In other words, every time you think of your desire, give it to yourself. Experience it internally, right? See yourself with it. Enjoy it. Be grateful for those other realities that exist with that desire being yours, right? Remember, creation is finished. All of it exists inside of you, all those parallel realities, which means your desire is promised to you. It's already existing, right? And therefore, you just have to accept that you have it. That's why Neville says, you know, your, your refusal to believe that you have your desire is the only reason you don't see it. It's the same thing, right? And that's what I did. I, I refuse to believe that I didn't have it in here, right? When I first began. And that's what I teach you guys. Accept that you have it internally. Feel like you have it when you think about it. Identify with those realities. And then the rest of the time, you can walk in faith knowing my 3D is gonna change because I am mental dieting, because I am living by the law, because I am doing what is asked of me, because I'm doing what scripture asks of me, right? And it's that simple, guys, okay? So I just wanted to share that video with you guys. I hope you guys, you know, en enjoyed this. And, you know, it was very spontaneous. I didn't do any preparation for this. I just, you know, I kept seeing clients kind of deal with similar situations and little misconceptions. And I wanted to debunk this for you guys. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys learned anything or liked this video, just hit that thumbs up like button. And that's all I ask of you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate and love every single one of you guys and expect a video this week as well. Okay, guys, so take care and have yourself a wonderful day or night depending whenever you're watching this.